Hey traders, John Hell here. Well, the market has had a bit of a pullback today. Um, and we're still getting the short-term momentum changing where the definitely the, the silver mining sector down the bottom here. This is that, that these charts down the bottom here. Definitely got a bit a bit more of a selling um, out of this here. That's actually not looking too good now for the for the mining sector. And uh, same for the GDX as well too. Not looking too good for that as well. And the GDXJ is starting to create possibly a bit of a possibly getting false breakouts on the mining sector right now. Again, guys, this is short term. Looking at the actual indices as well too. Um, yeah, there's actually a few things that I want to share with you as well too. As well with the good old gold chart. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders, let's get straight into it. Traders, make sure you grab that access to that brand new trading course that I've just recorded and I'm giving away free access for a short period of time. Very first link in the description or go to johnsfreegift.com. Alrighty, so look at the market, eh? Look at the market. Jiggy jiggy. <laughs> I got jiggy jiggy. All right, cool. So let's actually start off with the good old Dow Jones. And the first thing I do say, guys, in the mix of what is happening with the volatility in these markets is this one thing. Please, please, please stay calm. If you are emotional about your trading right now because of the volatility, you are trading way too much in the market, way too much. And we need to step back and we need to stay calm. No good decisions will come from a fearful state. Never trade in a fearful state because whatever you actually fear, if you make a decision in a fearful state, oh my goodness, I'm fear of this happening, your actions in that moment are going to cause that to happen. So, so many times in my past is that I would not want to happen, meaning like, oh, I'm fearful of losing money. I'm fearful of losing money. I better get out now. And so I'd get out. I'd actually get out for a loss to then see it run on. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's always important, guys. It's really, 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 really important to make sure that you are that you are staying in a calm, collected state, okay? No matter what's happening with the markets, we should step back, breathe, and say, okay, then what's going on? What, what am I doing? Where's my stop loss? And so on and so forth. Um, so that's the most important thing that I do say there. Now let's, have, let's, go, let's, let's go have a look at the actual indices itself. So the good old Dow Jones uh, actually ran up, came down, created a higher low. Now we're forming like a bit of a short-term double top on the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is the strongest one out of the out of all of them because we've got this higher low and now another higher low. We've got a bit of a sideways movement through here, but again, I'm not really worried about, about that. So we definitely have the, the strongest level out of this one here. You can see we have, if I draw, so that double top formation there, and now we're actually rejecting it. So it's gonna be really interesting to see. If indeed the market does break below 34,000, then it's all over Red Rover and we're probably going to head back down towards these lows down here. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happened to you. You can see we gapped up, hit resistance, came back down and closed there. So if I'm looking at a, an absolute short term sort of trend line, looking at this thing here um, and my software, yep, there we go. So if I'm looking at an absolute short term trend line, there possibly is something going on through there. I, I would have to say, all right? So that'll be it there. You can see this high low at this point through here and this point through here. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happens with the, with the, with the Dow Jones through here. Do we keep, do we completely fail through here or do we start to rally back up when it comes to that? If we look at the hourly charts right now, the hourly charts have done something like this, right? So we've had like a bit of a Bit of a bit of a bottom through here and now we rallied up made a high this actually could be some sort of a higher low around this around this level through here so it's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens with the good old Dow Jones um, and isn't that the beauty about the markets the beauty about the markets is that things that you don't think can happen uh, or the other side can happen right so let's have a look at the S&P 500 and as you can see with the S&P 500 we've continued to stay below my ultimate long-term momentum trend line here 
that I've got here. I had I had a, I had a much more shorter term one coming through there, and that broke. But the ultimate one, this one through here, you can see we actually rejected it right at that level yesterday, and so we're really. Yeah, it's actually not looking too good for, for the indices. Um, now we're starting to get a real big reversal. You can see once again, I've got this rejection point through here a lot. These last couple of days, this point through here and this point through here. And now we get a complete, complete rejection uh, through there. So we could actually spend a bit more time to the downside here. I, I don't think it's gonna be too much. Well, there, there's, there's my words, think, right? Um, so I do believe we're probably likely to find a bit of support level through here. So if I, you know, if we have a look at this through here, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens here on, let's go to the hourly chart. And we can see we've had a strong move up, a strong move down. So probably what's gonna happen here on the S&P 500 is we're probably likely to get a bit of a pullback through here and then and then a bit more downside to come out of that S&P 500. But it's, uh, it's definitely, um, the, this is the beauty about the markets, right? Is that the the markets, it just it just surprises everyone it, when when we're looking at the markets through here. The tech stocks are obviously getting hit the hardest. Tech stocks are getting smashed, absolutely sold off big time through here. People are freaking out. Um, not me. This is amazing. Um, and I, I love this volatility. I absolutely love this volatility. So we're getting a pullback through here, and we've got a close below that level through there. So we may let's go to the alley chart here for a minute yeah we just the tech stocks are looking ugly like we're not even getting yeah the tech stocks are looking really 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 ugly so um i wonder what happened through there let's actually go to the nasdaq and let's actually see what was what would what would what would the big downers oh so we've got tesla obviously oh look at tesla Big gap up, big big sell off. But what what were the big sell offs in the, in in the tech sector today? Okay, um, so we have a line. We have Nvidia. Nvidia actually broke down. Um, mm, that could be actually a false breakout, a false breakdown. But anyway, let's see what else do we have in here. Um, we have uh, Peloton. Um, geez, isn't that interesting? Peloton used to be a big stock for most people. Baidu, Baidu selling off. Um, we've got Facebook down as well too. Uh, what else we got here? PayPal. PayPal's just been always. Pay, PayPal's been a been a bit a bit of a bit of a dog through here. Got, like DocuSign. Um, DocuSign's continuing to stay below here. Okay, so we can see we through here. We have got uh, mRNA. <laughs> Go to zero, you. <laughs> fucking vaccine anyway um <laughs> uh oh we've got amazon amazon had, had, had a bit of a bit of a down day as well too so lots of volatility today guys lots and lots and lots of volatility uh we've got zoom down as well too isn't it interesting a lot of these a lot of these big stocks that did really well in last year um they're like oh you know it's interesting right because i remember kevin o'leary was saying you know, moving forward, the the stocks to be in is going to be at the at home stocks. The, you know, the really interesting thing is, guys, is that I, I I do believe even some of the most top investors out there that have literally hundreds of millions of dollars in their account are getting creamed by these markets right now. Like you look at um, who was that guy who recently that guy, um. Now, fortunately for me, I'm not. I, for me, I'm not getting creamed right now, right? Because I have stops in place, um, and I'm really smart with my risk management. So I, I'm, I'm loving this volatility. Absolutely, just love this volatility. Um, but you see, some of these really big investors, right? Like, um, was that was was that guy who made like a billion dollars or something? Shorten, shorten the markets. Um, but then he he got out of Netflix just recently, um, and he got out of Netflix and he lost like something like I don't know four hundred million dollars or something like that, like a four hundred a big massive loss because he just kept buying Netflix. Um, anyway, um, let's actually see through here. So Google's down a little bit as well too. So Google's actually getting a little bit a little bit of volatility. I tell you what, guys, the this, this second half of this year is going to be absolutely just a screamer, absolutely screamer. I really do see these markets. The fear we're getting right now in the markets, and in, that's actually a really good point. Let me actually bring on the fear and greed index now. And let's actually just see uh, what the fear and greed index is doing. I'm doing one take. One take, y'all. One take for you. Um, 
Again, guys, the number one theme of this of this update for you guys is to stay calm because there's going to be a major buying opportunity. There's going to be a major flaw in the market soon, and you watch this thing just absolutely just scream. Okay, so with the fear and greed index, is when did it last update? Was that just recently? Uh, last updated the twenty first. Okay, yeah. So just re just recently. Um, so the fear and greed index, we can see here we've got a move up, then we've got a bit of a pullback through here. Yeah, I actually like it down here. Right, this this below this line through here, that's when I'm just like, yeah, here we go. So, I don't know, maybe the stock market's got more downside to come, uh, but it's gonna be really interesting to see, hey, look at that, bit of a trend line there um, happening on the fear and greed index. Isn't that interesting, like, look at that there. Broke, big move up. It's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens here, guys. We're not really getting that much fear yet in the marketplace, so maybe we're going to do that. Adobe's down as well too, so Adobe's down short term. But some some of the stocks that I've actually done really well out of the markets here, um, again, like Tesla, we've got Monster. Uh, let's go to the S&P 500, and we can see some, some of the big stocks through here. So American Airlines, this is one stock, guys, that is really starting to pick up big time, really pick up big time. And you can see here, by looking at American Airlines, the big thing I really like about American Airlines is the market is changing, right? This is where, the, or no, the trend is your friend until the end, right? So we have a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, right? It's like, oh, downward trend, down, 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 down. Look at here, low, higher low, broke past, who's in control now? Right, look at American Airlines just, just making some really, this is called winning ugly because we gap up and then we close low and then we're probably gonna do this and this and this. So we're getting a, getting a major, major level of support in American Airlines. I mean, this is one stock I've been watching quite strong as well too. As, in, as you can see, United Airlines, exact same thing. So the airline stocks are really starting to capture a really big bid uh, through here. But what are we getting through here? Higher low, break past previous highs. Bit of a gap up today. But I do see I do see the airline stocks starting to really make a make a make a big move out of this thing here, guys. Um, uh, yeah, you can just see this thing starting to really really make a big move. So we're probably gonna we may have just found an ultimate major bottom before we start to see a really big move back up. Because I know I know a lot of people starting to travel again as well too. So maybe that's the reason why we are getting that with the airline stocks when it comes to that. Uh, let's go have a look at. Uh, we've got Tesla there. Uh, let's go have a look. What else we've got here? Yeah, Delta Airlines as well too. So the, the airline stocks are really, really starting to make make a move through here. Um, we've got Monster. Obviously got Monster Beverage. Yeah, not much going on there. Uh, Twitter. Oh, Twitter. Did Elon Musk sell yet? Who cares? Uh, fast. All right. Fast and all. Oh, IBM yeah so uh, looks like today guys even though the market's down the winners uh, which are, which which I've been seeing for a while is the airline stocks um, are starting to really capture uh, that bid and once again guys as I said before right as you can see here markets made a higher low broke past previous highs guess guess who's in control now right the buyers are in control this is down 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 buy started coming control and away we go as well too in the market Let's have a look at the good old gold and silver. I know a lot of people have been. <laughs> I know a lot of people have done a bit of a nugget in their pants today when it comes to the mining sector. I tell you that it's like, oh my goodness, what's going on with the mining sector? All right. So, firstly, gold. Gold's still heading up quite nicely. Um, we still have a very nice upward trend through gold. Gold is actually holding here quite strongly. Uh, for what when it comes to gold, I just this big picture here, guys. Look at this big picture here. Oh my goodness, and this is a bit of a bit of a shake and bake for the markets. But once we start to make a move back up towards these previous highs, guys, and it could be it could be forming a base here right now before we start to make that big move. Once it does start to break, guys, it's going to be on, right? So stay calm, stay present. Uh silver. Silver's one that actually got a, a bit of a selling on the on the downside, really. There hasn't been really much going on when it comes to silver. Uh we had a little bit of a short term up move, then we've got a bit of a short term down move. The big thing for silver for me is we're still just squeezing up into this massive triangle pattern. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see. Uh, once we do start the breakout, it's gonna be quite incredible. Moving over now through to the GDXJ, which is my baby, right? My baby, oh my goodness, my baby's down today. Oh no, I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Not really, like, it doesn't matter, right? 
let's actually take that off the screen there. Uh, take, take that off the screen through there, right? So we had this move up and we've had this move, last little hooray, and now we're actually pulling back. So we're probably, we're probably gonna get a bit more of a pullback out of this level here, guys. Um, you know, we're probably gonna get more of a pullback, but I believe this is this breakout here once again is probably going to be the, the start of a really nice move to come. So we have this point through there, this maximum point through there, as you can see, now we're getting a bit of a pullback. We could actually get more of a pullback down the 44 or maybe even down the 43, but then get ready for that slingshot move to come. Um, GDX, GDX is one as well too. Is like, this is one that I was talking about yesterday. I'm just like, oh guys, this actually could be a false breakout. Now we actually can see here, look at this here, complete false breakout on the mining sector, complete false breakout. And now we're dropping to the downside. Um, the GDX was the one that I was saying before, like the one that one that I'm just like, ah, oh, guys, we're not really getting any pullback. We're just continuing up through here. And now we're getting this big move to the downside. So let's actually take that off the screen through there. Let's take that off the screen. And now you can see this, this, is, just one, this is just one big move up. So what's probably likely to happen, guys, and especially with the GDX, we've got this big major level of resistance through here. Let's actually take this off the screen here. What's probably gonna happen, because this is really overall one big move up. We're now getting a pullback. This is probably just going to be a pullback, guys. A nice pullback in, the, in, in an overall good moving, good booming bull market, right? So we're probably, a nice healthy pullback, guys, in this big bull market is probably going to be a pullback down towards these major support levels through here. I, I wouldn't be too worried about it, though. It's just, that's what's probably likely to happen, right? Because as you can see, right, look at this here. If you ever look at this here, we've overall just, we did that, but we've overall just moved up through there. Now we're probably gonna get a bit of a pullback. It, it may even hold stronger, but the way we're looking at right now, we're still in that oversold, overbought territory. So we may even get a bit of a pullback down to 30, and then we start to see a major bounce through here. But we have changed the tune in the markets, right? We had this major channel through here, major channel, major support, major support. Now we broke up, we've had a move up. Now we made this major high in the market. We're probably gonna make a major low coming back down as well too. This does not give you the right to hold on. If you got 50% of your account at risk or you're YOLOing in one position, guys, don't be an idiot, right? There's no, it doesn't matter how much I can see something on the screen, you should not be risking too much of your account. I'm telling you right now, traders, if the whole world goes belly up and every single one of my positions gets stopped out, my count is down 20% right now as I speak. That's for even for my longer term investing positions, right? So I'm still 80% ready to go. Please, 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 whatever you do, protect yourself. Because once you have, say, a smaller risk on your account, and the worst case scenario, like for me, is 20%, if everything just goes belly up, um, guess what? It helps you stay calm. And when you have calm, you're not trading in a fearful state. When you're not trading in a fearful state, you make better decisions. When you make better decisions, you're actually going to do quite well. So that's what's going on right now when it comes to the good old mining sector. Again, you're probably gonna see a bit more of a pullback now. We've got that last little final hooray. Now we're getting the pullback. A lot of selling in there. So um, there is a potential. This is a potential anyway. If we have a look at that there, sometimes we can come down to the 38%. Um, and then hold that. So that's going to be really interesting. SILJ, same sort of thing as well too, right? We had a move up sideways, a slight breakout. This is a slight breakout. And now we're actually backing back down um, as well out of these markets here. So I, again, guys, I do see, you know, I do see these, these this, this little retracement coming into the in, into play as well too. So um, again, just, just more, more, more down. That's probably more downside is probably going to come out of the mining sector, and same for the SIL. Right, I have a target of forty-two, and we just didn't quit. Just didn't get, just didn't quite get there. The SIL is a bit of a sluggish one out of all of them. Again, I had a forty target of forty-two. It didn't do that. We're now pulling back down again. Um, if I remove everything off the screen here, the thing that you didn't want to see is this breaking below this level here. So. The, the one thing about the SIL is that we're not in a strong upward trend like like other ones, like the GDX. So this is a big strong upward trend, so big pullback. The SIL right now, look what's happening right now, right? We're just getting a very, uh, there we go. Right, and now we're getting a, a strong solid close below. So what's probably like to happen now with the SIL is we're probably gonna continue down. Again, the SIL has been a bit of a sluggish sort of uh, one in the market. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this all plays out. 
Uh, but for me, guys, um, I'm again, I'm not worried about this here. If you are worried, then you shouldn't be in the markets right now because the volatility is absolutely just insane right now when it comes to these markets. And we need to be patient. We need to be present with the markets and not making fearful decisions. So no matter what happens with any of these markets, okay, uh, let's go have a look at the transportation average. Just to look through there. Not much going on there. Let's go have a look at the home builder index. The home builder index is actually is actually this major trend line that this home builder index is right at right now, or getting very close to anyway. So we possibly get into a reversal there in the home builder index. But um, there we go, traders. There's an update for the overall markets and just some things that I've been really focusing on and really really watching for. Um, the the big thing, guys. All right, the big thing that I really want to just really help you just stay focused on is that risk management and you probably know that because you heard it a thousand times but then also just stay calm all right stay calm and just make good decisions protect your account that way you can get back in tomorrow or the next week or a month from now so there we go traders lots of volatility but um you know we, we may get a bit more bit more downside to come in the mining sector and maybe even the stock market as well too. So let's see what happens. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure amazing and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com or there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go to that right now.